Oh, tea. Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gary. I'm a cybersecurity professional by day, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you why you shouldn't use the terminal. Okay, that's not true. You should use the terminal, but you should do it better. You should use Tmux. I know what you're thinking, Gary, I've just figured out what the terminal is and now you want me to use this other thing, which means terminal multiplexer. That sounds really complicated. Break it down for me. I'll show you. So I've done some manual configuration to Tmux to make the keys a little bit more intuitive for me personally. So if we type ls-lah, Inside my home folder, you'll see this tmux conf file. It's got a dot in front of it, which means it's hidden. If you type ls normally, it's not there. And if you open the home folder, it's also not there, but it is actually there. So let's look at it, vi tmux.conf, and here it is. If you look in the description, you'll see all of this text in here. And really what you need to worry about is the top bit and the bottom bit. The top bit, turns the prefix key to be control A instead of control B, which is the default. I prefer control A. And this bottom section makes the minus key and the pipe character, the characters for splitting horizontally and vertical, which makes way more sense to me than the percent symbol and the speech marks symbol. That, that's silly. I'll quit that. So I'll put my tmux config file in the description of this video. If you want to use that one, copy that text and paste it into a text file called .tmux.conf in your home folder. There's a few ways of doing that. If you're new to all this, I'd recommend you just open the home folder, right click, create empty file and call it tmux.conf. Open it up, paste the text in here and then save this file. Once you've saved it, what I want you to do is, I want you to rename this file and put a dot at the start of it. I won't do it right now because I already have a tmux config file there, but that'll work for you. So once you've done that, then you need to type this, tmux source file tilde slash dot tmux.conf. When you run that, tmux updates its source file configuration from your little text file and you're golden. Here it is. Here's the default terminal that we all know and love. And if you type tmux, you get this green bar along the bottom. Nothing else really changes, but now you've got this green bar. But there's a better way of starting these windows. So let's exit this one and make a better one. I'm going to type exit, clear the screen with control L, and I'm going to type tmux new s for session, and we're going to call it htb for hack the box. And you'll see in the bottom left, the session name is here and computers count from zero, which is why it doesn't say one, it says zero for the first window, ZSH, which is the default shell. The asterisk means we're in that window right now. So let's rename this window. I type the prefix key and then comma to rename it, call it nmap and as you can see, it says nmap at the bottom. We'll run our nmap scan. We won't really. Lovely, a nice organized window. But let's make another window within it. Prefix key, C to create. And as you can see, we now have window one, which is actually window two, confusingly, and an asterisk, meaning we're in that window. And let's run ifconfig in here. Okay. So we have two windows, let's rename this one as well. Prefix key, comma, ifconfig, lovely. Everything is named perfectly as we like it. And what you're about to see now is the power of tmux. You can detach from this session and then reattach at a later date. tmux detach, tmux new session, Kali, and here we are inside a new session called Kali with only one window inside it. Let's just make a whole bunch more. Just type in prefix key C over and over again. And then we're going to tmux detach. And if I type tmux list sessions, we see there's two sessions and it even gives you the window count within those sessions. So hack the box has two and Kali has six. Let's reattach to the Kali session. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to split this screen in half. I'm going to type the prefix key and minus. The minus symbol is a horizontal line, makes sense to me. And to split it vertically, we use the pipe character, which is a vertical line. And that will split that window in half. If you type the prefix key and the up arrow, it moves you up. And then you could split this in half as well. And you just use the arrow keys to move around. You have to type the prefix key each time, but no big deal. How do we close these windows? Well, there's a few ways. One is to type exit. Another is to type the prefix key in X and it says kill pain one, yes. So it's super easy to kill these pains. So let's leave this window and attach to the other one. So tmux attach target htb and it's exactly as we left it. Hopefully you can see the power in this functionality compared to the normal terminal. You can't detach from the normal terminal and reattach to it. The minute you click that close button in the top right hand corner, it's gone. That's not the case here. If we tmux detach from this, close it, open it back up, tmux list sessions, two sessions are still running with all those windows inside them. Wow. For me, that's an absolute game changer. So that's tmux in a nutshell. If you use tmux, I'd love to hear about it. If you've got some cool config file stuff going on, leave a comment, let people see it. And if you hate tmux, we really want to hear about it. What's your favorite tool to make the terminal better? Maybe it's Terminator, maybe it's Scream, who knows? Either way, have a play.